Hey guys, today we're going to create a vector hot air balloon using Affinity Designer for an iPad. And then we're going to animate that using free version of Adobe Fresco, all right? So we got two parts to this project. So let's get started with creating this main active our animation. So here I am in iPad version of Affinity Designer. That's a version two, but it's not that different from version one, to be honest. All right, so let's get started with the oval, holding one finger on the screen. You will maintain the perfect proportion for the oval to be a perfect circle, right? Then let's add a little rectangle below, unite those two shapes together so we can round those corners here. All right, let's round them up so we got smooth transition between those two. Then we can also use a node tool to play around those button nodes, making a little bit narrower here. So we got this overall balloon shape. Now it's time for the basket. That's really simple. We got a rectangle, round some corners, turn it brown, and we almost there. As you can see, this illustration is really simple. We don't need to use a pen tool. It's very beginner friendly, all right? So I think everybody can do hot air balloon in Affinity Designer version two. But if you want to save some time, you feel like you just wanna do the animation part, that's all right too. So I will drop this image. There will be a PNG for you to use. So you can just download this hot air balloon. The link will be in the description. And then you can do the second part, the animation part in Adobe Fresco. We are going to use the free version of Adobe Fresco. You don't need to purchase the premium one. That's totally fine. This can be done with the free version. I'm using free version myself. All right, so just recoloring the balloon now, making duplicates of the main shape, then squeezing this so we can recolor them. Seems like we almost done here. Let's connect the basket with the balloon. For that, I will use a rectangle tool again. We could use lines as well, but I will stick with shapes. All right, so one on the right, one on the left. Seems like it's not exactly the same distance. I'll need to zoom in. You can use your fingers to zoom in quickly. And that's, that's what we need here. All right, to the final touch, we will draw this oval shape here, almost white color, very bright oval shape. And then we're going to use layer effects to blur this. So add blur and then move this slider on the left up, up, up to blur it up. So here it is. It's time to turn our canvas transparent. We need a transparent backdrop. So let's use a canvas, transparent canvas like this. Now select your object and we are ready to export. So we're going to export this guy as PNG without backdrop. Take a look, that's the whole document. So let's switch from whole document to selected area. Much better. All right, we are ready to export this PNG. I will just share it to my own photo library. I will share it to image library. And then we are here in Adobe Fresco. So here we can place an image from the library. And here it is, I can see my balloon. All right, so that's my balloon from Affinity Designer. Now it's in Adobe Fresco. So we kind of skip the whole part of drawing the object. We can just use Fresco for animation. So let's place it outside first. And then we will turn on animation tools. So that's the icon at the bottom. Bottom right corner. Maybe I should also set up some kind of backdrop here. So we got some blue sky before that. So let's change the color light blue and i will fill the layer with that all right and then we can go back to the main actor here the balloon itself so select the layer of the balloon and then bottom right corner we turn on animation panel so you can see all of the frames when you can also see the path tool using path tool we can just draw the line like this and the object will follow this line. Take a look. It's so simple in Adobe Fresco. I really like it. But now we can use those layer properties, the path properties to add some effects to this animation. So we can modify that. It doesn't need to be that simple. 
and that's the best part I would say. I can make it grow and shrink on the way. I can make it to sway left and right automatically without my intervention. Take a look. It's so much better now. Now the balloon is swinging left and right, growing up, shrinking down while following the path I draw. So the movement is so much natural. Let's make it slower by adding more frames. Right now we are animating in 12 frames per second. So by adding 12 more frames, the animation will be one second longer, all right? Take a look how nice and simple it is. Our object can follow the path just like that. I really like this feature of Adobe Fresco. All right, we could end here and I will be happy, but let's add some additional elements. So I'm going to, I'm going to add a cloud here and the cloud will be animated in the opposite direction to give us this movement vibe. So the balloon is going against the cloud movements, all right? So to do that, I'm going to actually stay here in Fresco. I could do that also in Designer and export that again, but that's really simple, simple drawing. So I think everybody can do it directly here. So we need a new layer. Tap on the layer, add new layer above here for now. And then we will use the vector brush to simply sketch a simple cloud using white color all right so this one is a brush without texture very simple straightforward brush okay it's we drawing something very organic doesn't need to be pretty i would say so let's just do that take a look very simple cloud all right and then we can use a bucket tool to fill this area with the white color as well and here's our cloud all right if you feel like you want to modify this we can also use a transform or liquify so let me try to do that if i i can rotate that of course all of the transform operation but there's also a liquify thing take a look there's a warning they will rasterize this cloud if we liquefy that so now i'm using liquify and unfortunately i'm losing this vector aspect for the cloud but with this resolution that should be fine all right so we finish with the cloud all transforming is done here now we can animate the cloud in the similar manner we animate the hot air balloon so simply we will add a path for it we don't need to animate this frame by frame it can waste time reduce opacity to 50 percent that's what i need here around 50 percent it should be semi-transparent cloud and we also want to reorder this cloud will be above the balloon so that would be a really cool effect when it's passing above the balloon with the semi-transparent okay so now let's animate the cloud right so let's draw a path but this time for the cloud i click the path tool at the bottom draw the simple line like that and the cloud is moving following this line <laughs> that's really nice so let's apply some effects to this path and this time we're going to tap into a really cool effect called multiplies. So take a look. In the path effect, we can use multiplies to add additional copies of the same element automatically. So I have more than one cloud and I can scatter them and make them a little bit random. So they will kind of follow the path and they will kind of spawn in random places. Let's add more frames so they're moving slower and then we can a little bit randomize the whole thing here. Take a look. So we got this cloud popping up from the right side, moving to the left randomly. It's not just one cloud I draw. So that's really nice. All right. Let's uh, give it a test. I'm going to play all at the same time so we can evaluate this animation before we decide to export that. Take a look. The balloon is going like that and clouds are floating above him nicely. All right, it's really nice. It took us, what, five minutes to animate all of that? Okay, the only thing here is like the, the cloud animation is longer than the balloon. So we're going to adjust the number of frames we got there because I don't want the balloon animation to start again. It should end like that. And now it's starting again and cutting. So we don't want that. So let's just adjust frames per each object. So the balloon and the clouds, they should have exact amount of frames. So we got this one loop only, all right? This is not a looping animation. This is just one time. It should have around eight seconds, eight seconds long animation. 
So let's simply go back to the animation panel and adjust number of frames for each object. So now we are on the balloon layer. Everything's here, we got 12 frames per second, play once, that's nice. And now we just need to adjust the total number of frames. As I mentioned, more frames, the animation will be slower. It will take longer to go to this path, right? So let's modify this value on the right. Scroll down over here. Now I got 85 frames. Let's set this up to maybe 100. All right. And then I will also go back to the cloud layer and I will also check how many frames we got here. 101. All right. So let's make it exact same 100. Perfect. I think we are done here. We are ready to export our little animation. So let's click on publish and export. All right. At the top of your screen, publish and export. The first option, we don't want to use quick one. And here there's a special motion feature at the bottom. Click on that and they will allow us to save our animation as MP4. Now it's generating the MP4 document. It will make take a while. And here it is. Let's play it. All right. And that's how you can use Adobe Fresco to animate your vector clip art from Affinity Designer. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.